Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, this is going to be one of videos whereby I'm going to address what a 17 year old wrote to me. And if you're watching this video, my request to you is put something productive or constructive down there, which can help it. Okay, I'll read out the message and then you tell me whether my advice is right or wrong. Okay, so without giving this person's name, this person sent me the message, Loy, sir, I am a 17 year old. This is my 12th board, 25 days ahead. I've not completed my studies. Right now, I feel depressed and anxious and I'm in fear. I need a college for BTEC, but there is a low possibility that I could get one. I have time and if I work properly, there is hope. I know I made a lot of mistakes, I agree, but this will be the first time failure. I feel as if I've lost my dreams. I feel I will spend my entire life trapped in the middle class. I have no friends. I need to take you for two minutes. Please, sir, talk to me. I can't afford you, but it really helped me. Just a few minutes. No one is listening to me, sir, please. Okay, so I will give you my response, not only to this guy, but to all the youngsters who have more or less the same situation with many doubts and questions peppered in between. Okay, so let's take it by line by line. And remember, this is not to attack the guy. This is to address many youngsters like him. Okay, first one. Loy, sir, I'm 17 years old. Okay, it is something we have all gone through. Now I'm 47, so nearly 30 years ago, I was 17 years old. This is my 12th board, 25 days ahead. I have also finished my, uh, you know, 10th board exam, 12th board. And I'll tell you, when the board exams come, you know, uh, they have this tendency where they make you feel as if this is a matter of life and death. This will decide your future. Seriously, in ninth standard, they made it so scary for us. We were not sleeping. We were not eating. I thought, like, I thought my, I would, you know, my life would be destroyed if I failed. It was that. They, they made it like paranoia. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. This might, you'll not believe this. But for a guy like me who had ADHD and hyper, this thing, I had failed in all the subjects in, uh, the 10th standard board, all the subjects, you know, we have the model exam or the mock exam before the actual board exam. In the mock exam, all the subjects I got below 35, 33 or 35, I failed in all except English. And my, uh, that headmaster, Mr. Radhakrishnan Nair, uh, my parents, anyway, they were always ashamed of me. So they said, oh, what's the use? He's useless and all in front of him. So he, put his hand you know, on my belt and pulled me, me with my trousers. He said, this boy, he can do it if he's serious. For the first time, I used to hate that guy. I never thought he would say anything good about me. I was very afraid, you know, because he said, he's a smart boy. If only he takes it seriously, he'll do something. Because I was upset. And his words of encouragement touched me so much. We had only one more month from the model exam, the mock exam to the final. In one month, I managed to, I don't know how, all the subjects by myself, I got about 70, 70, 75, whatever percent. The only why I came down was because of Hindi, I think. Hindi was 40 percent. Others, every, all subjects, 70, 75, 80. That was the only time in my life. And I think I got seventh rank. A guy who used to fail in all subjects got 7th rank because I really focused in those 30 days. Nothing else but 24-7 focused. Okay. Now, I'm not expecting that for you to do. And after that, I didn't bother to study because I realized they are just hyping you up and scaring you. Nothing is going to happen. Oh, electricity shortage. Okay. Anyways. So, I didn't bother to take it seriously after that. Okay. So, 10th was the highest marks. After that, I... Just pass marks every time. Okay. 
So I don't know whether you can do the same miracle. 12th board, 25 days ahead. I've not completed my studies. See now, see, here's the thing. I've not completed my studies. Then he says, I feel depressed and anxious and I'm in fear. I need a college for BTEC. There's a low possibility I could get one. See, you had one full year, one full fucking year, 364 days, 12 months. You knew that you would get your exam coming. You knew one year in advance, you would get your exam. For one year, you didn't take life seriously. You didn't study. You didn't focus. You didn't discipline. You didn't do anything. You were enjoying yourself or relaxing or taking it for granted. Now, 25 days before the exam, all of a sudden you realize, oh, now I have to study. Oh, no. What like? Boss, boss, boss. There's something called accountability and responsibility. There's something called having to pay the price for your actions. You don't work hard. You don't focus. You don't seek help. You don't take your life seriously. You don't seek assistance. You don't do anything. But then you want an easy way out. You want, you know, like a quick fix solution. You want this magic tablet that will make you slim. Or you want that Aladdin's magic lamp that will miraculously give you good marks. No, everything has to be earned. There's no free lunch. There's no free anything. If you want supposed to get muscles, you go to the gym and you work hard and you give yourself time. It doesn't happen in one day, one week, few hours. It takes time. It takes one year. Yes, there are supplements, steroids, whatever, but still it takes hard work. One year with proper coaching and training. So everything has a system in place, a logical way of doing things. So if just because you woke up at the last minute and now suddenly you're oh, depressed, oh, anxious, oh, fear. Boss, who are you trying to fuck around with here? Who asked you to take it easy? Who asked you to enjoy? Where were you all this while? So you pay the price for what you've done. It's as simple as that. You know, I get clients. Sometimes I get clients who, Loy, Loy, sir, I lost my job. Loy, I don't have money. I don't have anything. Please help me. Uh, I want a job. Fine. I tell them, fine. This is my service charge. Resume rebrand, interview coaching this. And I tell them, this is my charges. Say, for example, $1,000. Oh, Lord, sir, I don't have the money, sir. Please, sir, I don't have the money. You Please help me. Yeah, but you had a job before, right? Yeah, yeah, I had a job, sir. And you made money, right? Yeah, yeah, I made money, yeah. And you're having a good life. Uh, yeah, a little good life, yeah. You have an iPhone and Samsung. Yeah, yeah, I have a phone. You went for holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went for holidays. Went to nightclubs and movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had good time. You had good food. Yeah. So when you had a good time, when you had good food, when you had good money, when you had an iPhone, when you had all that and you were busy humping other girls, you didn't save any money for a rainy day. You enjoyed yourself. You didn't remember me that time. But now, after you enjoyed yourself, you spent all the money, you did all the shit. Now, when you're paying the price for your actions, after enjoying, now you want me to help you? When you're having a good time, you didn't think of me. Now, when bad time, I have to help you. So, you want to escape, not pay a price. It's like you smoke every day of your life for 30, 40 years. Hey, you know, man, one life, enjoy. And then when you get cancer, God help me, God, God, oh, every. Yeah, you eat like a pig because one life, man, enjoy. Yeah, you know. And then when you have diabetes and they have to amputate your legs, your eyesight doesn't work. Then, I, uh, uh, what is the life here? What, what did I do? No, you pay a price for it, boss. Every action has a reaction. You didn't study. You didn't study. You didn't work hard. You were not focused. You didn't take help. One year ago, now you are paying the price for it. Oh, I need a college for BTEC. Why? You didn't know this one year ago. You need a college for BTEC when you are enjoying yourself. So, now you need. Well, there's no free lunch. 
there's a low possibility I could get. Why your brain didn't work that time? Hey, I have time. You have time, then work. Or, or, don't go for the exam. I'm telling you a very frank thing. Don't go for the exam. Be no show. And repeat the whole year all over again. And this time, study hard. Then maybe you'll get good marks. But you'll not do that. Because you want, you don't want to pay the price for your mistakes, for your sins. You don't want to pay the price, but you want an easy way out. And you know, the problem is if you are given the easy way out now, your whole life you will do this. You will never work hard. You will Because you'll never have fear. There's no price to pay. You'd want the easy way out. Okay. I know I made a lot of mistakes. Baba, everyone knows they make mistakes. Nobody is dumb. You also know and you still did it. So you pay the price for it. I agree. Good, you agree. So you pay the price for it. No, suffer now. Don't get admission college. Feel the embarrassment. Feel the pain. Pay the price for it. You enjoyed the bad time. Now you pay the price for it. That is how you become a man. But this will be the first failure in life. It happens. Experience the failure. Experience the pain. And then you will become a responsible adult. Everything you do. Even, you know, I tattooed my face. I had to pay a price for it. I was fooling around. I had to pay a price for it. I didn't study. Paid a price for it. I was enjoying with girls. I paid a price for it. There's nothing in life where you don't pay a price. I feel as if I've lost my dream. Well, if you have a dream, work hard towards your dream. You don't work hard, you can't get a dream. Nah? Then you just have to sleep and keep dreaming. Then you, uh, then you live in that dream. But if you want to wake up and face reality, have a strategy. I wanted to lose weight, for example, 12 kilos. That was my dream. So I had a plan for one year. Every month, I need to lose one kilo. 12 months, one kilo each, I lose 12 kilos. And then I divided it one month, one kilo. Four weeks are there. Every week, 250 grams. So if I do that and I keep evaluating and I take proper advice and I do proper actions, exercise and eat smart and be focused about it, take proper guidance, have a strategy, I will achieve it. Even I could not run 50 meters, but I wanted to compete in a half marathon, 21 kilometers, one year. So if after 12 months, if I want to run 21 kilometers, six months, I should run 10 kilometers, half of 21. So six months. Then three months, I should run five kilometers. So 20, half is 10, half is five. So three months, five kilometers. Then if I further divide that, in one month, maybe I should run at least two kilometers, two, four, six. And then every week, I break it down, two kilometers in uh, one month. 15 days, 1 kilometer, 7 days, 500 meters. So you see how it goes, progress. That is how you do it. Strategy. Not suddenly wake up and dream and God and help me mentor, sir, tattooed, sir. Okay. I feel I've lost my dream. I feel I'll spend my entire life trapped in the middle class. Keep one thing in mind. There's no free lunch. There's no easy way out. There's nothing. Your marks are not going to determine your future. That much I'll tell you. But if you take this approach of one year taking it easy, being an asshole, and then at the last minute wanting, oh, my dream, oh, I feel depressed. You'll never succeed in anything, boss. Nothing at all. You know, my brand that I have online, every single fucking day, I put two to three videos. Every day, I put eight hours of effort. Every day I'm promoting my brand, answering messages, emails, I'm focused. And guess what? It doesn't pay me anything. Jack shit it pays me. Per month on YouTube, I get hardly maybe $200, $500. I don't care. I'm not doing it for the immediate gratification money. I'm doing it for my brand. And that is why people pay me from $237 US per hour to maybe even $5,000, $10,000 for a coaching session. It has taken blood, sweat, and tears. You know, they say sweat equity, no? And I've been doing this for 20 plus years. You know, before I couldn't even write a letter. 
two words. There was no chat GPT. There's no AI. There's nothing. Article, I couldn't write one line. I didn't know how to respond to a formal email. Dear sir, I didn't know what to put next. Should I put, uh, you know, uh, I received your email. Oh, sir, the above subject. I didn't know how to construct. But then I was determined. I will learn. Where I could not write even few words in an article. Every day I said, I will write no matter what. Even if it's shit, I will write 10 lines, 20 lines, 50 lines. So once 50 lines became easy, then I focused, okay, I'll do now 100, 100 lines, 100 uh, words. Then after 100 words became easy, 200 words, then 500 words. Today I can literally, not a joke, I can do every single day 3,000 worded articles, 3,000. And if I really push myself, I can do up to 10,000, but it'll take a long time. Non-stop, I can just keep typing. It'll not be perfect. There will be grammatical errors. There will be spelling mistakes, but I can do it. Why? Because I did it every single day for 12 to 16 hours a day. You check Medium, You check, sorry, you check Quora. Every day I was to answer 100 questions. You check my YouTube channel, you know, 7,000 plus videos. You think it became easy? Every day, two, three videos, every single day. People make fun. Oh, it's not professional. It's not... Uh, it's not uh, production value is low. Oh, he has grammar mistakes. Oh, his accent is shit. Oh, he looks ugly. Oh, this boring topic. Oh, your shitty views. Oh, no views, no subscribers. I didn't give a flying fuck. I focused on my goal. It was to put work out. It was passion, obsession, commitment, discipline. These very painful words which you don't like is what will make you success. Not this, oh, oh help me, oh, I'm depressed, oh, action. I enjoyed life, I, girls and fun and movies. Oh, oh, oh my B-Tech. Who the fuck cares, yeah? You want to achieve your dreams, boss? Roll up your sleeves and work like a fucking dog. I've done sweeper, cleaner, security guard, all that. I've eaten from the dustbin to survive where I am today. You need to do the same, boss. And then, what? I have no friends. Oh, boo hoo hoo. I have no friends. Ah. <laughs> I'm staying alone. From October, I'm staying alone in this house. There's no friends. I don't give a fuck to friends. I don't want friends. So, what are you crying for? I just want money. Ah, I need to take two minutes. No, fuck you. You don't take free two minutes. I'm giving you this video. Fine, that's all. I'm not going to talk to you. Why should I talk to you? Who the fuck are you, man? What are you on free? What is free? This video is free. But I'm not going to talk to you. I added you in my groups. You can take advice for free. Not from me. I'm premium, boss. I work my ass off. Please, sir, talk to me. Talk to you and do what? Give you a kissy? Oh, no, 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 my nice baba. You'll do well. You'll do well. Talk to you and do what, man? Grow a pair of fucking balls. You anyway have a hairy set of balls. Be a man, nah. Take responsibility for your fucking life. What, you want me to make you feel good? Kuchiku, kuchiku. You'll do it. You're nice, papa. You will get nice B-Tech. Eh? I can't afford you. Of course you can't fucking afford me. You're not even started to work. You can only take your daddy's free money. That's all you can do. Daddy and mummy's free money. Waste their money. That's what you've done. Your only job was to study. You didn't fucking study. So now you work and study. Maybe that's what you need to do. Just a few minutes. No one is listening to me. No one is listening because you are a nothing. You're nobody. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Only your parents do. Which you're stabbing them in the back. Taking their money. For which they are helping you towards your future. And you're wasting time. I wouldn't want to have a son like you. Because you're ungrateful. You're a piece of shit. Yes, your parents have done a pathetic job looking, you know, giving you upbringing. Seriously. They sh first is they shouldn't have had a child because it didn't look like they did a good job anyway, which is a fact, which is why you're approaching me and not your parents. Second is you're not responsible. You're not hardworking. You're not focused. None of it is there. Why should anyone help you? Boss, we got our own shit to worry about here. So bottom line is this. There's no free lunch. There's no freebies. You fuck around for 11 months, 11 and a half months. 
and then when an exam comes ah I suddenly wake up no it doesn't work out that way you study if if you feel so bad about this don't appear for exam repeat the 12th standard and this time from day 1 of month 1 study all the way till month 12 and then appear for exam if you are that serious but i'm sure you wouldn't want to do that because you want life easy then if you want life easy you pay the price for it now it's not that you'll not get any college you'll get some cheap shit college because that's a price you pay there at least don't waste your time this time be focused and if you're really not interested in studies which i know that you're not because it doesn't show anywhere and you are getting into btech which is you have to put effort it'll be a disaster that's as far as i predict because btech is not easy you have to study harder i don't think your study material i would say go for bcom or ba whatever chuma just finish it but gain a skill gain a expertise gain something of value and remember e-commerce online stuff and all is all bullshit physical work roll up your sleeve work hard learn something technical understand there's no free money and nobody is going to give you free freebies and this begging please sir please sir this begging stuff no maybe you can stand out sir allah ke naam pe like this you can do nobody will give a fuck about you so grow up you're a 17 year old young man stop asking for pity stop asking for freebies you are an asshole you pay a price for it that's all i can tell you and remember this much that if you repeat this behavior of enjoying life and at the last minute waking up this history of yours will repeat and you will be a bum it's not your degree it's not your grades it's not your qualification it is your character it is your focus it's your dedication towards your goal your passion your career anyway i've given you a total of 21 minutes that's all i can give you for free but one to one coaching that's a privilege that only my clients get anyway good bad ugly let me know your thoughts in the comments below this is me signing off please feel free whoever is watching this video do comment let's hope he get some common sense all right you guys take care this is me signing off